We want to begin with this story. The measles outbreak is affecting more states this morning. Public health officials in New Jersey are investigating whether a one-year-old has the disease. An Ohio high school student is also being tested. It could be the first case in both states this year. As it stands right now, there are at least 150 cases across 14 states. That includes Illinois. Five babies from a daycare center in suburban Chicago have the disease. Dean Reynolds is in Palatine. Dean, good morning. Good morning. Well, the folks at this daycare center say it will be open later today, but all of its unvaccinated employees and children have been asked to stay home for the next three weeks to try to keep this highly contagious disease from spreading. Public health officials are trying to pinpoint the source of the measles outbreak at this Illinois daycare center. It's insane. I just feel sorry for the parents who have sick kids right now. After five infants, all under the age of one and too young to get the vaccine, were diagnosed with the disease. Two of the cases are confirmed while doctors await the results of lab tests on the others. And officials say up to 10 more children may have been exposed. This is a highly contagious disease. There are likely to be more cases. Illinois' first case of measles this year was confirmed last week involving an adult male. Across the U.S., there have been at least 150 reported cases in 14 states, many of them linked to an outbreak at Disneyland in California. At this time, there is no identified link between these measles cases and the adult case reported in suburban Cook County or the multi-state outbreak of measles associated with Disneyland. The wave of new cases has reignited the debate over child vaccinations. 20 states allow parents to opt out of inoculations for philosophical reasons. I think it is a little bit disturbing that people have decided not to vaccinate their children or themselves and that these diseases are allowed to spread in the community. Now, all five infants diagnosed here with measles are being taken care of at home and the autism advocacy group autism speaks has weighed in on the whole vaccine issue saying that vaccines do not cause autism we urge that all children be fully vaccinated gail that's important to hear from them thank you dean